Hello Capricorn and welcome to your general mid-month reading for October 16th through 31st, 2019. This reading is for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising, but you may also check the other videos if you have other elements in your birth chart. There might be additional messages for you there. This reading is general. It may not resonate with everyone. So if you're interested in a personal reading or interested in purchasing the Illumination deck, the link to the Etsy shop is down below. Okay, Capricorn, let's get started with your overall energy for the reading using the Wisdom of the Oracle. Spirit, what is the overall energy for Capricorn for the last half of October 2019? What is it Capricorn needs to know? Strongest energies for those watching, please. What messages need to come through, Spirit? What needs to come through for Capricorn for the last half of October, please? Truth be told. Okay. Very interesting energy. Somebody's going to reveal something, come clean about something. Hmm. Let's see. This is the Major Arcana portion of the Psychic Tarot. Let's get some other energies around this reading. Spirit, what is the overall theme for this reading? Ooh, there we go. Sacrifice. That's the hanged man in the regular tarot. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see how this unfolds. Spirit, what can you tell Capricorn about this particular energy? Somebody is thinking about speaking their truth, perhaps. Someone's been in deep contemplation. Let's see what's going on for you, Capricorn, for the last half of October 2019. What messages need to come through for Capricorn, Spirit? messages need to come through for Capricorn spirit strongest messages please for Capricorn your imagination illusions what else spirit what else spirit needs to come through for Capricorn what needs to come through for Capricorn? Moving. What else? What else needs to come through for Capricorn? October 16th through 31st. Strongest messages, please, Spirit, for Capricorn. Substances affecting your life. What else? What other messages need to come through for Capricorn spirit? I've got two here. Foreign. Dreaming of you. Wow, this is a really interesting mix of cards here. I'm getting that there's something that is not being spoken about. Somebody is being maybe a little um, closed, closed off, tight-lipped. It might be causing somebody's imagination to run away from them. Moving, this could be movement, it could be momentum, it could be literally moving house. Uh, it, with the foreign card here, this could be about relocating. Somebody might be medicating to get through something. Hmm. Did I say sacrifice was... The hermit, I think it's the hanged man. I think I'm, I apologize if I did. That's 
that's, you know, hmm, really, um, it's, it's kind of about, you know, surrendering. Um, it can be a little bit about um, enlightenment, maybe being stuck, but let's see how this unpacks. Okay, interesting. Using the Arcanum Tarot, let's clarify spirit. What other messages do you have for Capricorn regarding your imagination or illusions? There's something going on in someone's headspace here. Clarify for Capricorn, please. Why is that here? Your imagination, illusions. Why is that here? Why is that here? Oh, we got a flipper. The world. Okay. Um, culmination, cycles. It could be that that there is something potentially coming to an end here, something that had somebody. Um, I just got thinking the worst, and I don't know where that came from, but that came into my head. Huh? But something is potentially ending. Um, oh, five of wands. Very competitive energy. The five of wands is about um, working through resistance it's about it can be about competition let's move on to moving why is moving here five of cups now we have two fives fives are change somebody has regrets sadness they feel a sense of um, you know loss here Let's, let's see what else. Moving. Why is that here? Moving in the Five of Cups. Queen of Cups. Okay. Water sign energy. This is about emotion. This is about um, being in your feels. This could be this could be being over emotional about a situation. Perhaps about a move. Perhaps about. Um, anticipation of something because I, I feel like this with this imagination and illusions this is something that that is maybe um, an energy that that is maybe exaggerated let's move on to substances affecting your life what is that about substances affecting your life queen of swords uh, the Queen of Swords can be um, kind of cutting. This could be, you know, this is this is air energy. This could be the need to let something go, um, something that isn't healthy. It could be substances. It could be uh, could be thoughts or anything unhealthy. Letting that go, cutting it out. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups. Could there be a little overindulgence of? Um, alcohol here not sure oops that's a lot of cards substances affecting your life queen of swords what what is this what else spirit what else do you have seven of pentacles hard work productivity waiting for something to come to fruition maybe the waiting has led somebody to um, kind of get in their head, have a little inner conflict. Drinking could be, you know, maybe some um, self-medicating going on here. Let's see. Let's move on to foreign. Why is that here? This could be um, this could be moving to a foreign destination. This could be someone from maybe another culture or um, or country or continent moving toward you. Let's see. What, why is that here, Spirit? Ah, we've got the Emperor. Okay. Divine masculine energy, authoritative, decisive, can be a little uh, controlling. Not always. Somebody who takes charge. What else? Page of Swords. Somebody might be doing a little uh, spying. 
mental focus, getting clarity. I think the emperor is doing this. Bottom of the deck, temperance. Temperance is about moderation. It's about patience. Let's move on to dreaming of you. Why is that here? Wow, that flew out. Knight of Cups, an offer of love. It feels to me like there's a declaration of sorts. I'm, I'm feeling the energy of people who are not together, to people who are separate. I think it's causing, um, I think it's causing sadness and heartache. Someone's been waiting a long time. And there may be some sacrifices that have had to be made for this, perhaps distance, time. But there's, there's a truth that will be told. We'll unpack a little bit more. Let's clarify. Ah, King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Now let's clarify again, dreaming of you with this Knight of Cups. Ah, and we've got the star. Someone wants to bring this relationship together. It's a, it's, the star is about healing and renewal. It's about wish fulfillment, awakening. Two of Wands. Looking out across the world, looking at distant shores, making a decision at a crossroads. What else, Spirit? What else can you tell us about this spread for Capricorn? What else does Capricorn need to know? Oops, we've got two cards here. Seven of Wands. Okay, this is standing in your convictions. This can be a little bit of defensive energy, but I, I feel like um, there is this, this desire to push forward. Next up, we've got the Six of Cups. That can be the past. It can be soulmates coming back together. This could be someone you knew in childhood. This could be children. Bottom of the deck, chariot. Let's see, what else? What other messages need to come through for Capricorn? Okay, we've got a peeker and a flyer. Nine of wands. Gosh, a lot of wands energy. There's a real need to, like, you know, push forward. This is determination and will. This is the wounded warrior been through it but not done yet and we've got the wheel karmic wheel Car karmic um, cycles changing moving forward this is about fate destiny wow ten of wands gee a lot of determination here, a lot of a lot of fiery energy. Might be dealing with a fire sign. You might also check the Sagittarius reading, or some of you may be on the cusp. Some similar energies here. Let's see, what else? Anything else, Spirit, that needs to come through for Capricorn? Anything else, Spirit? Any other messages? Any other messages for Capricorn? Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this might have taken a while. I'm, I'm really getting distance. I'm picking up distance. <sighs> okay. Um, let's get some fairy messages for you. What are your final messages for the sign of Capricorn or Capricorn Cross Watchers for the last half of October? What else? What else do you have for Capricorn? Holiday. The answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation, retreat, or holiday getaway. Moving. The there's some sort of, and this may just be for one or two of you, but there is some significance to the next holiday. This could be when you get back together. There's, there's definitely this, um, this movement on the part of this emperor person. There's, there is a very slow and steady progression. 
Let's pull just one more. Anything else? There might be another set of Capricorns that need another message. Spirit, what is that? What else? Okay, that fell on the floor. This is another very specific message. Sun. Your son is watched over and protected as he explores his world. Hmm. There might be some fathers out there watching this. Very interesting. And since that's so specific, I'm going to pull one more. What else, Spirit? What other messages need to come through for Capricorn for the end of October? What else needs to come through for Capricorn, Spirit? Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, seriously. Birthday. A significant birthday holds the answer to your question. So with holiday and birthday, I'm getting that there is something that, you know, is going to occur, a, a cycle that's ending, people coming together. There, there may be some, some movement toward this relationship, maybe bringing the, the, the truth out in the open. Um, gosh, I've, I've, I just feel like there's a whole lot here that is um, maybe... Um, needing to be worked through and needing to to come into the light in order to be solved. And for some of you, this this feels so specific. But for some of you, this could be related to your birthday um, in the January time frame, or maybe the holidays, perhaps in the U.S. Thanksgiving or um, Christmas. For those of you who celebrate Christmas, so v this seems very very specific. But um, let me know how it resonates. Okay, Capricorn, that's what I have for you. Thank you for being here. Wishing you love and light. Bye.